Hello, my name is The Racken, and I'm back. Couldn't really wait, to be honest. I wanted to continue on, get to red. Open the fucking thing. Uh, yeah. You probably couldn't wait either. Probably wanted to see what was going on. Actually, no, you probably all already seen the game. <gasps> no disappointment. Empty shelves. Ha ha. Uh. It's a big book of explosives to guide him. Badly administrated. Badly? With some iron um, amalgamation of chemical sludge. E. I don't think my thing worked. Um. Let's go to my big book of explosives. Small amount of sodium carbonate. Uh, red phosphorus. Die. What? Does anyone know what's going on? Do I just try like randomness? So it's it's not B A. F. I'm trying. Maybe go. That didn't work, did it? Hmm, perhaps I could use this burner to make a makeshift chemical bomb. If I had the right chemicals, what do you do? Okay. Yeah, this isn't working. I need to like. I have barium. Backstring gunpowder. Okay, so I've already made black match fuse. Dynamite. Uh. And paper. Uh. Then there's a viable chemical mix. The formula exists as somewhat of a legend in modern pyrotechnics referred to as knowledge to stay away from it as death mix. In the world it makes an unstable for almost all potential outputs. Red phosphorus, this mixture can be can be carefully and slowly mixed to minimize the risk of sulfur can be substituted for some or all of the barium to slightly decrease sensitivity. Um Okay, I don't really know. I didn't do anything, did it? Let's just do what I did before. <laughs> this is like. Ah, I think so. I'll do it so I'm going to careful and move it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. <laughs> careful when moving in. Yeah. Good one, dude. Shouldn't I really have found like a cork or something? Just to like. <gasps> oh! Why? Oh. All hate, no love.
I'm the best chemist ever, clearly. Well, obviously I am, I'm not joking, so yeah. I, 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 I carry chemical, dangerously explosive chemical mixtures along, across wide gaps that could easily kill, where the fog could easily kill. No! What the fuck? Best chemist ever. Okay. This time, I'm not gonna be lying. I am gonna be the best chemist the world has ever seen. Yes. Best chemist ever. And now what? Do I have to throw something at it? Run! Ha ha! Professional. We. Um. Yeah, as you can see, I'm a great A professional at this. Best chemist ever. I'm not gonna go through the big. I thought this was something in the thing, and yeah, not. Oh god. Let's go. Let's go. This. Oh, what the fuck. You, you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my throat box now, but the words elude me. You came. You are so pretty, but I am bad. The underworld already beckoned me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change it. It is false pretension, and not Johnny Light, with which I have lately here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a thing. You cannot know what it is you sought to the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, he betrayed me. Save me in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the light that waits for you. Hungry behind those doors, as the basement show, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and avoids you and you only as red. For it is I, your companion, resided within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have hearts in my head are uh, not my own, and I cannot take my life, it is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit chat and mud below the fire of ended, and I hope that soon uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, you let him invite me into the Wait, he wants me to kill him. Look that I ain't going in that room. Oh, fine. I'm not a pussy. It's not like I'm sketched this. Vicious looking things almost like, almost look like meat hooks. It's because that's what they are. That's what he asked for. Hell is with that music. Okay. Red's dead. I'm red. I red. I'm so sorry. Whatever happened to you down here, it's over now. Good. Now I can get the fuck out. I'm gonna look around. How the hell did he get in here?
Like, really? I'm guessing there is nothing in here. But how the hell did he... How, really, how did he get in there? For a minute, I thought he was going to, like, try and kill me. And I hope Trevor is like, I want to eat. It's like, oh, fuck yeah, so... I thought he was behind that door, honestly. I didn't think he was in... There. Oh. Let's do this. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So, red's dead. That sucks. This door... It's different. Newer than the others. This must be where red is leading me all this time. Can't get hold of it. I need some... Some... Thing to lever it open. It's hydraulic sealed. It wouldn't just probably... Maybe if I cut the power. Am I sure I can't open this door? Okay, uh, the power is probably in the room Reb was in. Must be running the last set sequence, it won't turn off. What the hell am I doing? What? I need a way to turn off the power. Break the supply pipes? Nah, that's not gonna do it, is it? Oh! That must be for that other room. Awesome. Thank you, Red, for the key. Much appreciate. Much, I much appreciate it, bro. Ooh, the fuck. Hmm. Reams of books. Where did Red scavenge all these from? There's everything from survival manuals to collect the work to look for the kid. Alex has spent his time on one of those books for him. So, I can see Red now sitting here guiding me. I probably wouldn't be standing here now for the time. Why did he have to leave me down here alone? He's a dick. Poor Red, I'm so sorry. You're at peace now. Peace, my ass. He's dead. Ooh, what the fuck? Leaving out how Red managed to catch and kill this thing, it's quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have have been close to starving to death. What the hell is it? Oh, it's a dog. What do you mean? How how did how did he catch it? It's a fucking dog. It's not like a god. You. It smells like a sewer. How did Red sleep on this? Maybe he just didn't sleep. That's what I'll go for. Hmm. Ah, young Red, my dearest friend. How are you? I am as well as can be expected. I have some sad news, though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse, and some kind of ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here. But if they do, and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. But I don't think I have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's pretty tough work, and so far, you're the only person that really that's, that is really nice to, to me. Plus... 
I have some nice company down here. There are some friendly, kindy, kind, kind of creepy crawlies, and some books I bought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really quite lucky I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff. As it, as it is, I have Shakespeare, Bronet, and it's a perfect bedtime reading. Although, I suppose it might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to uh, ask my mom how long people survive without food, and the things I read, how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes, and some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like uh, I, s I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall start to death or go crazy first. Neither sounds too much fun, I guess. But if I had to choose, I'd say I'd want to go mad. Sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood prop proper mine worker. Age 14. 14? Ah. Redwood's only 14. Well, actually, he's probably a bit older. Now like 34 or something since like that accident happened, but he was 14 when he got trapped. 14. I mean, seriously. 14. That... He's been down here like 30 years or something. The chains on his arms are now visible. Not there out of choice, father looks on again. Aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come, what the man has released, the only one who could stop it. Howard knows the, the real fear. I never see another of these... If I, have, if I never see another of these things, I don't know. I don't like them, but at the same time, I know that I'm leaving a part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? Oh, Reggie, dirty boy. Dirty. Oh, the fuck. Jesus, from that stench, I think. This may have been his toilet. Ugh. No wonder he's getting hungry. What's the final meal? Ration slug. So no, perhaps he that. Perhaps them he that. How I mean, long did he spend with that neck in his noose trying to end it all? Oh. Funny place to have one. Oh. Even though those look like bolts, not screws. Does that? Oh, that looks like a face to me, like that line down there. Like that, there's a the mouth. And that's like those curves there, like, with, like the eyes. Hmm, that shows maybe running the door. Haha. Except I still hear electricity. And yet. Um. Yeah, I think I'm done for this part. Anyway. We're not gonna, I'm not going to hear Red's awesome voice anymore, because that was really good voice acting. Um. But yeah. That's sad. Anyway, I'll just save. Washy, 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 washy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. My name is The Racken. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.